Today is an important home game for Rangers. They're taking on Aberdeen, who are just one place above them in the table. Ibrox Park, home of Rangers, is beginning to fill up, and already a small party of volunteers are preparing for the special role they play week after week at Rangers matches. These are the commentators for the blind, providing a service that's existed for blind football fans in Glasgow for over 25 years. Sandy Jardin's challenger for the right-back spot in Jockstein's national team squares the ball inside, but Aberdeen having all the time in the world to set this ball up. Kenny Watson is in there like a big lassie. Ball comes off his knee, cut inside. Here's me striking it through the inside. Tries alone and it's deflected and it hits the side netting and it's a corner. Oh, you got the right okay. back playing. Martin Thompson has the advantage behind him of a childhood during which he was at least partially sighted. And what, what's the fun view of going along to? to a football match, which you can't see at all? Well, I, we get a, a really first-class commentary and being at the ground, you're getting the atmosphere and uh, you're actually getting to see the team you, you really like, support. You really feel, you used the word see the team, you almost feel that you are seeing it, do you? Well, the, the commentary is uh, so good that uh, you feel as if you're actually following the game, you, know, you can follow it perfectly well. By Jordan, to Dawson, down the left side of field to Malik Miller, Miller, infield, headed away by number four, McLeish. Penny Watson coming right, looking for somebody in open space. The commentators include an electrician, a customs officer and a post office official. They work two at a time, each with a small group of blind fans clustered round them. The concentration and the strain on the vocal cords is so great that after 20 minutes they have a break and someone else takes over. Well, the ball travelled upfield from the Aberdeen, and it's well inside the Aberdeen penalty area. Come on. Rooks, they remind me of somebody I know. Alec, I've tried taking the throw in into Watson. Watson, back to Versailles. Versailles loses control. It's Hazel Orr who's a computer programmer, has been a Rangers fan herself ever since she can remember. Her father was one of the founders of the Commentaries for the Blind Service. I think a lot of the blind people tend to enjoy me doing the commentary because it's different. I mean, for so many years I've only had male commentators and then I think I was along at one game with my father and they were just short of commentators. And Dad said, well, do you want to go? Because I've been going to the games for so long. And after that, well, I only tend to step in at a special occasion, so they regard me as a bit of a treat every now and then, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Stacking right across the penalty area. And McCloy picks that one up easily this time. Tom Anderson has been going to Rangers matches for 20 years. A trip to Ibrox is nothing for a man who is so skilled as a physiotherapist that some of his patients at the Glasgow Royal Infirmary hardly know he's blind. I'm just one of the, the staff there who carry out the job as need be from day to day. It, it, does it make any difference being blind? I think uh, there are obviously one or two small areas of the job that you can't be involved in. And I think some of the patients feel that uh, your touch will be more sensitive. And I suppose reading Braille, then uh, possibly your touch is very sensitive. But I don't think it means that you are any better at the job than, than your sighted counterpart. You must hear from time to time radio commentaries done by the professionals. Um, how do your lot compare with the, the people who make their living out of it? Um, well, I think the professional has to commentate to a wider audience. But I think for us as a small group, our commentary is couldn't be bettered. I, I would go as high as that. I mean, these, these lads that we have really commentate to us and for us, and uh, consequently, uh, I think the other bonus is that naturally they probably are slightly biased, and so we get a, a commentary that suits us better. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not really Rangers' day. Three minutes from the end of a tight game, Aberdeen score the only goal. 